Hello world, hello Philippines, hello Talisa City Division, and welcome to Teacher Mayette's Virtual Classroom as I walk you through the basic steps on how to convert the self-learning module into our very own locally developed self-learning kit. And this time, I am covering one of the core subjects in senior high school department, and that is 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world, featuring quarter one and week five. All right, so are you ready? Because I'm so ready. Come on, hop in. Let's join the ride. Looks familiar to you, my dear friends, my fellow teachers? Uh-huh, yep. Who could ever forget that? That's the first ever self-learning module that we use during the first wave of the age of disruption. And what good does it bring to us? Of course, it made us prove to the whole world how resilient, how brilliant, and how dedicated are we that even to the most challenging time, that even amidst the pandemic, we never let our learners down. Yes, so amazing, right? It's a big resounding virtual club to all of us. And this is a piece of evidence that we succeeded in the most challenging time. And we are the modern day heroes. All right? Okay, so let's move further and aim higher. Before we proceed to the process of converting our select self learning module, try to check the various parts of the SLM placed in the left column and the self learning kit on the opposite side. Can you spot the difference? Right. The parts that has the same color are grouped according to its commonalities, whereas the uncolored text are the ones that do not fall in the same category, meaning these parts are the add-ons or the other way around. Let's start the first step of your SLM conversion. Prior to the tactical part, I did read and reread the material and in literary studies, we call this process as close textual analysis, meaning we need to analyze and place each part of the module thematically. What does it mean? Sort out the commonalities of each part. Look for context clues. Say, for instance, in this sample module, you can see that the merging of three learning competencies. So since we have to produce one is okay, bearing one learning competency in a week. So I handpick the assigned learning competency intended for week five. After identifying the competency, you need to proceed to the learning objectives that can be found in the what I need to know part in your SLM. And make it sure that when you choose your objectives, it match with your learning competency in your SLK, in your locally developed learning kit. So after that, you are already ready to create a topic or subject matter that can be found in your content standard. Then supply other details in your SLK. Like for example, in, in this SLK, you can see there the textbook and materials that I used, etc. And after supplying all the necessary details, then you're ready to the step two. Step number two, focus on your content map. SLM does not have it, so immediately go to your self-learning kit and create your own content map that will, you know, show the flow of your discussion in your content notes later on, okay? Here we go for step number three. My dear friends, you need to create your content notes by converting the items that can be found in your self-learning modules. And what are these items? These are the what's new and what is it part. Well, if you notice that there are several activities presented in your what's new and your what, what is it part. So what you have to do is you need to understand, you also need to check whether these ideas are actually suited for discussion in your content notes. So your what's new, reject, reread, and at the same time, you get the major idea, okay? The, um, 
then proceed to your what is it also the same uh, procedure will follow okay and well you have to merge these fragments of ideas into one unified content and then after that you're in you're done for step number three you're ready for step number four Step number four, converting the what I can do activities into what's more in your self-learning module. Remember, my dear teachers, your goal is to simplify your activities in your SLK. Well, it's true to some that when they have tried to convert the what I can do activities, they seem to be overwhelmed. Yes, true. To the point that, you know, they copied all the teachers' activities and to the point that they get lost. So if you happen to encounter such incident when you do the conversion or when you do the revision of your SLM into your very own assigned self-learning kit, well, get rid of it. The motto in conversion is to simplify with substance. And why are you adding agony to your learners every week? So you have to select two or three activities that are doable in time bounded remember one of the many excuses you know our previous learners in in the past of course is the module is too difficult to answer and that's why they never return the module in time so teacher factor again ouch remember well, let's outsmart our learners than being we outsmarted by them okay Aja. Okay, for step number five, in this SLM, there are only 10 items shown. However, in our SLK, in our locally developed soft learning kit in Telecity Division, we are required to have 15 items in all for the assessment part. So, does it mean that from SLM, if we're going to convert it into SLK, we only need to add five items? No. It does not mean that way alone. Again and again, you have to check whether all the test items in your SLM are aligned in your SLK's content notes and the learning competency itself. If not, of course, you have to extract the unnecessary test items and you have to add new items to make it 15 in all get it okay perfect step number six hey we're almost done let's talk about the additional activities and additional tasks remember to always be selective in choosing the appropriate activities and you have to consider your learner's capacity and resources do not monopolize or recycle one activity alone though additional activities function like an enrichment of the skills acquired this does not mean that you have to um, you have to give writing tasks all the time i'm not saying also that you have to present varied activities like research work defining terms or even portfolio making what I'm trying to say is you have to consider that there are other subjects who are also waiting in line for your learner's attention. So basically my point is to listen the burden but have the substance. So in other words, give additional tasks that are at least minimum of no no minimum, but just at least five okay, five questions or maybe five terms it will do anyways this is an additional task per se okay it is explainable right step number seven remember both SLM and SLK got the same component they have both the answer key so this means the answer key is also an essential part in the making of instructional material so just like the answer key, references are also constant in both self-learning module and self-learning kit. So there's no conversion happening. However, 
there is an addition of supplementary materials that I enclosed. So what I'm trying to say is that it is possible that you can add some references if deemed necessary. If not, then it's okay also, that will be fine as long as all the resources, all the materials that you use can be, you know, cited properly, okay? Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. We are on the last part of our scrutiny, and in this version, we do not need a conversion anymore. And the last phase of the module conversion ends in step number six, technically. And this refers to the addition of tasks. Well, if you notice on your screen, the self-learning module, it does not have any answer sheet or feedback notes because the SLK, SLK the um, locally developed self-learning kit, get the freebies, which is the answer sheet and the feedback notes. So, ends of the conversion, okay? module conversion we are done converting the select self-learning module in the 21st century literature from the philippines and the world so we absolutely can go to the field and hand in the new self-learning kit to our learners and with that life's best guiding principle allow me to congratulate us for the great job well done and have a nice life ahead to all dedicated teachers like us. And I'll end this presentation by saying that quality education is the new ticket to poverty reduction. So what are you waiting for? Let's buy good version by printing the right modules. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Enjoy the closing program later.